Today we'll be making this herbal tea blend using only three herbs that help to soothe an itchy scalp, prevent hair loss, and increase hair growth, as well as following up with an Ayurvedic wash day focused on strength. So let's get into it. So week three of our Ayurvedic hair challenge is focusing on scalp care. Now we'll be making this tea using nettle, chamomile, and neem. Now if you don't have these herbs, you can also use my scalp relief oil as a pre-poo. So let's get into making this and complete our wash day. So we're going to begin with one and a half tablespoons of our chamomile flowers. Now I'll be adding them to my nut milk bag so I can use this as a tea. Now if y'all don't have any of these loose herbs, please feel free to use a regular tea bag or a regular tea blend or even the high maintenance hair tea for this mixture. Next I'll be adding a tablespoon and a half of our neem powder followed up with our tablespoon and a half of our nettle. If you have stinging nettle that will also work very very well. Now I'm going to add about three and a half cups of boiling distilled water. Somehow I lost the footage of me adding the water, but that is what I added to this mixture. Go ahead and let it steep for a minimum of one hour. Now y'all have the option to again, either use this tea blend, any of the teas that you may have. If you have one herb, you can use three tablespoons of that particular herb. Whatever you have, use it. So the first herb I'm gonna talk about is stinging nettle, y'all, because it is rich in anti-inflammatory properties and antioxidant properties, which are essential for those who are suffering from any type of chronic hair loss, and even those related to androgenic hair loss, as inflammation is generally found on the scalp and in the hair follicles. So this helps to lower that, including those who may be suffering from alopecia due to oxidative factors. There have been multiple studies that I will link down below that have shown some of the properties in which nettle has helped to lower DHT and increase hair growth. Now next up is chamomile. This tea is also rich in a ton of antioxidants that actually help to remove dead skin cells from the hair and, and product buildup. It also helps to reduce any itchiness, dryness, and bacteria that may live and thrive on the scalp. It also produces a nice soothing effect and helps to strengthen your hair follicles. Last but certainly not least, y'all, is neem, my good old neem powder. Now, neem helps to promote hair growth and prevent baldness as it has regenerative properties that help to stimulate hair follicles. It is also contains anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antimicrobial, antifungal properties. So if you're dealing with any scalp issues, dandruff, dermatitis, um, this is the herb for you. So we're getting a nice combination here of preventing hair fall and helping to stimulate a hair growth. Now I'm gonna actually steam with this tea mixture in my hair for at least 20 to 30 minutes. I really wanna make sure this penetrates nice into my scalp. If you're using the oil treatment, this is a great time to also use a bit of steam on your hair. And so let's do this and hop back on. My hair feels so soft by the way. So let's go ahead to cleansing. So I opted for the purple shampoo because it should be easy to apply to my twists and I lather this up in my hands first to help emulsify it and focus it on my roots and then scrunch it down my twist. Now y'all, I cannot wash my loose twists too often because they will form locks on me. They are not like my regular twists. The loose twists will lock up and I'm not trying to do that right now. So I'm not gonna be doing too much scrubbing but I'm gonna cleanse it and then rinse it right away. Next up, I'm going to be using my Oat and Aloe Strengthening Hair Mask. And now I get this question so often that if you have low porosity hair, should you use protein treatments? And the answer is yes. In all actuality, everyone should be using protein. However, the frequency in which you use protein is going to be determined about how and what you do to your hair strands. And also the size of the proteins matter when choosing a protein treatment. Now y'all, my strengthening hair mask is a balance of proteins and moisture. It contains oat hydrolyzed proteins and silk amino acids that help to deeply penetrate into your hair strands and also provide a coating layer to help you lock in moisture. So finding balance is key. If you want to learn more about protein, please check out my video I've done right here about the importance of the size and type of proteins you use on your hair. Now I'm going to be steaming my hair for about 30 minutes and also taking this time to drink my tea as well as my vitamins, y'all. This is gonna be my Gaia Plant Force Iron as well as my hair, skin, and nails. Y'all, my hair feels so light, fluffy, strong, and moisturized, y'all. 
I love how it feels right now. So I'm gonna go in with my leave-in conditioner, okay? And then I'm gonna add a little bit of my twist cream and um, my hibiscus styler. I don't know which one I want. I'll, whatever I grab <laughs> is the one I'll use. Um, I'm gonna redo only some that have become very, very loose. Like, can y'all see that? This one up front is almost all the way out. So any of them that, any of the loose twists that are just wildly undone, <laughs> I will redo. But the rest of it, I will leave in and I'll come back and show you guys when I'm done. So I'm using the hibiscus dollar because it does have um, some slip in it. So I'm just gonna apply that. Gently finger detangle that one. And then do a tight uh, twist at the top. Loose twist in the middle and then tight again on the bottom. Now, y'all remember we still have some of that tea from earlier that we made. Now feel free to use that right on your scalp and use it during the week to refresh your scalp if your scalp is feeling a little bit dry during the week. Um, make sure you keep the tea refrigerated so that it doesn't spoil and then use it up on by next wash day. So again, I'm gonna go ahead with that hibiscus and chamois styler and just moisturize down the length of my hair strands, making sure to moisturize each individual twist to make sure it's nice and hydrated. Then I'm gonna put this into two ponytails to stretch it for the night so that my hair can dry and not mat up. Now in the morning y'all, I was actually going to do the same style as last week, but I opted to just switch it up because why not? So I'm doing this easy top knot bun style and y'all I realized I just wanted a bit more volume in my hair and so I'm actually going to go in with two strands of Marley hair that I had lying around. Y'all know I don't usually do um, additional hair but, but sometimes you have to just be a little bit extra. So I'm just going to wrap the strands around the bun to add a little more height and depth to it. You know what, I realized I wanted one more strand of Marley hair, so I went ahead and added that. And now I'm going to just pin the top twist down, creating this nice, high, and thick bun. And you know what, y'all y'all know what I'm about to do. I had to go in, add some beads, but I also have this swirly curly hair tie um, that is really, really cute. I actually have a link where you guys can purchase it down below. I've had it for quite some time now. It easily snaps in the back. It's very light and gentle for your hair. And y'all know what? Let's let's get this extra thing going on. Y'all know I'm gonna put my makeup on and my outfit on. Cause why? Cause it's time to go back into the office. So y'all make sure you guys have joined our Facebook group as well. And share your post on our hashtag on Instagram as I'll be choosing weekly winners for those who are participating in our challenge. Also let me know either down below or on the Facebook group which teas you have been drinking and also what healthy food options you guys have been choosing for the week. And I'll leave mine down in the comment section. Alright, I'll see y'all next time for week four of our challenge. Bye y'all!